So Yubin's JYP contract just ended, and now she's decided to create her own company called Real Recognize Real Entertainment. If you were a part of that company, this would be your CEO. Would I want to sign with Real Recognize Real Entertainment? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. You'll see as this year goes on, there are quite a few groups that we'll constantly touch upon as they approach the end of their contracts, Red Velvet, Winner, GOT7, Laboom, just to name a few, because anything could change how they feel about renewing their contracts. As we just saw, Ladies Code just parted ways with their entertainment company after 7 years, now going on hiatus, at least group-wise. And by the way, I love how they still included all 5 members' names in their letters. Along with Ladies Code, Chen has put out his own letter one month after his marriage and family news, but this time it's an apology letter. We've talked about the attempts, or failed attempts, to get him kicked out of EXO, but also the attempts to show him that he is supported and loved no matter what. But it's impossible to completely drown out that negativity, and you can see that in this letter as he apologizes to those who were shocked and even embarrassed by the news. He was sad to see that his first announcement and letter hurt some people, but he was also grateful for the love and support. I'm kind of torn on this because on one side, I feel like he shouldn't have to apologize. He's living his life, creating a family, just being happy. But on the other side, I can see why Chen is writing this. He's doing it for the sake of his members. He's doing it because, like he said, he felt the first letter was so sudden and rushed that it probably created a lot of misunderstandings. We can't control everyone's reaction to him, but if, if writing this letter makes him feel better, I'm all for it. If it gives him that peace and mental strength to continue being there for his family, that's all that matters, right? We talk about mental health a lot because the more light we shine on it, the more may be done about it, the systems around it can be improved. But let's not let physical health be overshadowed either. Something as small as fans spotting eyes one with bruises on their knees can turn into twice as Jihyo having to get surgery on hers. When I saw this going around, I was hoping it was just, I don't know, the stage was a bit dirty or something like that. But it seems like people are convinced that it's bruises because their new choreography has a part where they suddenly drop drop to their knees. Imagine doing this multiple times a day. I'm just worried because, for example, although G-Friend has been killing it with their Crossroads comeback, they've also talked about how the tolls on their bodies have been catching up with them. And we cannot talk about mental and physical effects without talking about this crazy incident from yesterday. If you've already heard about this, you can attest to the fact that I'm not making this up. Someone, or more than one, it's not very clear, tried to harm Ace with super glue. Now, the only thing the company said was that there was an attempt at a super glue attack on the artist's vehicle near their practice room. So I'm not sure what exactly the plan was, but keep in mind, super glue has been used before to try to poison TVXQ's Yunho. Know? Ugh. Fortunately, their company is now trying to deal with it and will carry out punishment with no compromises as it has caused the members to be in a state of fear of this happening again at any time. I hope these people are caught and are made an example of, get Zimzala beamed, or whatever else to make sure this doesn't happen again. To anybody. How crazy is that? I don't even know what else to say about this. I do not believe what we're talking about right now. But then again, knowing how psycho some people can be. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay.